Thanks to social media, we can get a clear picture of the luxurious lifestyles, the extravagant purchases, and of course, some of the strange relationships that some of the wealthiest parents have with their children. Okay, so not every relationship is an explosive, binge-worthy Dr. Phil segment. Come to think of it, we're talking about Elon Musk here, a man who reveals very little about his personal life. But the question on everyone's mind is, just what in the world do his six sons think of him? Wait a minute, let's make it five, because there's still one little space cadet, Ash, who's far too young to voice his opinions about his billionaire dad. On the other hand, we have his first sons who are twins, Griffin and Xavier, that just turned 17 years old. And then we have his second set of sons, Kai, Saxon, and Damien, who are triplets that just turned 15. In a 2014 interview at the Export-Import Bank Conference in Washington, D.C., Musk described just what his kids think about him. They, you know, they don't seem too excited about these things. At the time, his twins were only 10 years old while his triplets were only seven. Despite always dreaming of being the cool dad, Musk admits that it's one of the hardest things to do. For starters, they don't seem too excited about some of the cool gigs he does, like running SpaceX and Tesla. He once took them to the Tesla factory before they were teenagers, hoping they would get excited about all the advanced machinery around them. But to his surprise, his sons weren't that interested because, as Musk puts it, they had seen the factory 20 times before. Musk even jokes that he gets more excitement from his inventions than his sons do. During the interview, Musk also admits that his sons would rather play video games with him than spend another second at a Tesla or SpaceX factory. This just goes to show that even if the whole world thinks you're the coolest man alive, the real-life Tony Stark, or humanity's savior, when it comes to your kids, you're just plain old boy boring dad. But then again, that was seven years ago. What do his sons think of him now? Well, one thing's for sure. They've matured enough to understand the kind of power, influence, and responsibility that their father has. For starters, Elon Musk doesn't have a regular work schedule. He's been known for pulling 22-hour shifts and even sleeping on the office couch at his Tesla factory. Because of his daunting obligations, he might not have enough time to regularly spend with his sons as most fathers do. He can't easily take them to watch a movie or even watch live sport without the paparazzi swarming him everywhere he goes. But then again, Musk has the kind of money that would allow him to rent an entire stadium just for him and his kids. Thankfully, Elon Musk isn't the kind of pompous, self-absorbed, wealthy parent that loves to flaunt their wealth, because you can imagine how that would rub off on his children. In fact, on several occasions, he has openly admitted in interviews that his one true love is his sons, and that reflects in the way that they view him as a responsible, loving father. You see, when he's not spending time running SpaceX, Tesla, and Neuralink, he always dedicates time to catch up with the boys. Musk's sons are also well aware of the vast fortunes that their father has. Being the first generation of one of the wealthiest in the world, they've definitely experienced luxuries beyond our wildest dreams. For example, they've had the opportunity to travel to many countries during Elon's extensive business trips. They've been to some exotic, high-profile places, all while being treated like royalty as their father holds important discussions touching on sensitive world topics such as renewable energy and interplanetary travel. For example, Musk once had a trip to China on behalf of Tesla's business. He decided to take his kids along with him so that they could get to see monuments like the Great Wall and even ride the bullet train from Beijing to Xi'an to see the Terracotta Warriors. Plus, when he's pulling ungodly shifts at the office, he makes sure to take a little time off for his children. He'll occasionally fly them down to his Tesla factory in Fremont so that they can hang out. Musk has also taught them the importance of blowing off some steam. Once every year, he gathers them all up and takes them for a luxurious camping trip away from the prying eyes of the media, the constant emails, and the flurry of inquiries from his employees that work in the multiple companies he runs. It's a way for Musk, as well as his sons, to get that much-needed private time to bond. But why is Musk so involved in his children's lives despite his busy schedule? Well, the answer might come from the trauma he experienced growing up with his own father, Errol Musk. In a 2017 interview with Rolling Stone magazine, Musk details how he had one of the most miserable childhoods, claiming how his father was capable of terrible things. He described his father as a terrible human being, an apathetic man who calculated evil plans. While revealing more about his childhood, Musk describes how his father was verbally abusive to him. He would regularly let Elon know that he had no faith in what he was doing. When Elon made the decision to move to Canada as a student with numerous hopes and dreams, his father harshly told him that he would be back in South Africa in a few months with his tail between his legs. Musk also speaks about how his father used to call him an idiot all the time. But at the end of the day, Musk proved him wrong by forming a number of successful companies that made him one of the richest men in the world. 
However, Errol Musk had some pretty strong responses to his son's claims. While being interviewed by the Daily Mail, he told his son that he needs to grow up and stop referring to him as evil. He needs to get over himself. I'm not gonna hit back. I'm going to wait until he comes to his senses. He's having a tantrum like a spoiled child. He can't have what he wants, and now I'm apparently an evil monster. So, could Musk be compensating for his childhood nightmares by pampering his own children? Well, we can't be too sure. Either way, Musk has admitted that it really bothers him that his sons aren't being hardened by the tough childhood he experienced growing up. Which, in part, he believes is the reason for the grit and determination that made him the successful person that he is today. You see, Musk went to school in South Africa where he was violently bullied. Even though he's a rather large man today, standing at 6'1", he was quite small in his middle school years. He was regularly picked on, and one of the attacks was so brutal that it left him with a messed up nose. The injury worsened as he grew older, and he had to have it fixed in 2013 as it was giving him breathing problems. But now, his sons are growing up completely different. For one, they're homeschooled at his private learning institution, the Ad Astra, meaning that bullying isn't something they're accustomed to. They're also growing up with a whole set of unique experiences which are quite luxurious and extravagant. In fact, one story that Musk has occasionally tossed about is how he took his kids to the Monaco Grand Prix in 2015. He recalls how his sons were hanging out with the prince and princess of Monaco. While most kids their age would have been starstruck by royalty, Musk's sons seemed indifferent, even relaxed about the entire affair. That's when it hit Musk that for his kids, this was their reality. They were used to enjoying the finer things in life because that's what they were born into. So Musk set out on a mission to broaden their horizons as well as their personalities. As much as he's a loving father, he doesn't want them to grow up as rich and spoiled brats incapable of accountability. He's going to instill discipline in his household. A particular rule he stamped in his home is that his sons must read twice as many books as the number of video games they play. And even as they played these video games, they weren't to play games that, how shall we put it, killed their brain cells. One time he found them playing a video game where the only concept of the game was to tap on a cookie. Elon wasn't amused. He forced them to delete the game and download a game where the objective was to measure the flight path of a bird. In spectacular fashion, Elon even joked in an interview, well, at least there was some physics involved. So as an involved father, Musk is certainly keeping watch over his son's decisions. So far, he has shielded them from social media as we've yet to see them making any wild posts online. Plus, there haven't been any stories of Elon's sons caught misbehaving, like taking one of their father's Model S's out for a spin now that the twins are old enough to drive. It looks like his sons really respect and look up to him as a leader in the household. And that's what every father desires to have with their children. As for his other son, X Ash 12, Musk has admitted in an interview with the New York Times that his partner Grimes handles most of the parenting right now. But Elon says that once Ash gets older, he'll become more involved in his life. Musk has also gone on record calling parenting a wonderful experience and referring to babies as eating and pooping machines. He thinks babies are super cool and encourages people to have more children because, well, if we don't, then humanity will certainly disappear. Who knows? Maybe Musk's next big invention will be a baby fever formula. Here's a pitch. He should call it Musky Nights. And with that quirky retort, we've come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comments section down below what you think about Elon's parenting method and how his sons will shape out in the future. Plus, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get more enriching content in the tech world. As always, thanks so much for watching and welcome to the future.